like Netflix, but with your iPhone? Yeah, you heard me right. Your iPhone could soon be a subscription service that you're paying for monthly, and it could be offered by Apple soon. What does that even mean? And why the hell would you want to subscribe to a piece of tech hardware? The answer is actually pretty interesting. What it could mean is that the next time you go to buy a new iPhone, you're actually not gonna know the full price of the device you're paying for, but instead we will only know about the financial responsibility that you have to Apple monthly. That's similar to a lease. Now that might sound similar to what we already have available to us through our carriers, but in fact, it is very different. Right now, if you're paying monthly payments on a device, you're probably paying off a balance, the total balance that you owe on the device with each monthly payment taking down that balance. And then they hit you with that stupid insurance slash upgrade program bullshit that you actually have to pay for in order for you to upgrade your device. And a lot of times you have to pay off a certain amount of the phone or wait a certain amount of time for you to be able to upgrade. Usually it's around the halfway point for both. And see, this is where Apple could be completely changing the game with the subscription part being the major differentiator. See the term subscription to me gives off that Netflix non-committal come as you go kind of vibes, which is very unlike Apple. And subscriptions to me also scream, you don't own anything. Like you're not renting server space at Netflix and paying monthly installments until you pay off that server. You just pay your bill and expect it to turn on when you wanna watch Tiger King. But what happens when you don't pay your bill with Netflix? You don't really lose anything except for access to TV shows and the movies that you were watching previously. But in all reality, it's not much damage being done. It's not sent to creditors for your credit report. You're not blacklisted by Netflix for any reason. You can resubscribe at any time and they don't even charge late fees. Go to Netflix's website right now and you're gonna see watch anywhere, cancel anytime. They are literally advertising to you that you can cancel anytime, no obligations. But how will that subscription model apply to something like an iPhone that can be lost, damaged, or stolen so easily? I can only guess that Apple will probably put some type of tracking to see when you've paid your payment for your phone and if you're late, and then also have control over the antenna that allows for data usage, possibly even shutting off your phone when you don't pay your bill. But knowing Apple, you will likely be forced to pay for Apple Care in this program, which will help protect against damaged, lost, or stolen phones. And more importantly, protect their investment. Now, here is the big key difference between Apple subscription service and whatever is being offered through your carrier right now. Flexibility. If you are someone who needs the newest iPhone right at launch, then this is probably gonna offer some new layers of flexibility that aren't offered anywhere else. With Apple's subscription service, upgrading could be as easy as just paying up a tier in price and then swapping out phones if that is necessary, possibly even without paying down payments or upgrade fees. Likely not because it's Apple. Similar to what you would do with Netflix or any other subscription service out there when you wanna add more features or services. On the flip side of that coin, it could also be that Apple just wants more control of your device and is now able to pick and choose how they will try to help you. A nightmare scenario I can already see happening is Apple not forcing its customers to have Apple Care with every one of these subscriptions and then the customer either losing or breaking the phone. You then might be stuck paying monthly payments until you can afford to eventually pay the damage fee, which will likely just be the cost of the phone anyways. Instead, you'd probably pay payments forever on a device that you no longer have or can operate. And because you didn't get the insurance, you would be hit with a larger fee than the deductible, likely the cost of the phone. Or what if you're someone who doesn't really mind paying payments on a phone, but you wanna work off a balance to eventually not have that payment on your bill? Will that person just get stuck paying monthly payments until they no longer want the device and then lose all the equity that they've put into the device? Or even scarier in my opinion, overpaying for an already expensive piece of tech because there is no balance to pay off. Apple can just keep you paying forever. Since nothing is official yet, at least at the time of making this video, all we can really do is speculate on what this is gonna look like for the consumer. And unless I'm mistaken, this is the first time a tech company has ever offered a subscription service for a tech product of theirs. Things are gonna get weird. And as more information comes out, I will definitely be providing more information on this topic, so make sure you subscribe to stay in the loop. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking to buy a new Apple Watch, definitely consider checking out this one where I compare all three options available on Apple's site. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.